students as repatriates. The purpose of this paper is that in order to increase the return of investments from these international assignments. And how we're going to do it is by examining the knowledge transfer among the three groups. Those are the expatriates, the repatriates, and the top management team. And how we're going to do it is by using the tools, the feedback-seeking behavior, and the social networking. OK. Now, we need to know what is effective knowledge transfer. So it is going to be a perfect fit between the individual readiness to transfer the knowledge and the organizational receptivity to the knowledge that is being transferred. OK, now maybe we can compare it to what we had in class today. That is the uh, willingness to transfer the knowledge and norms of receptivity. That is what uh, this is all about. OK, I like this slide. What metaphor is being used here? In yang pakwa. Right? Okay, so you know it's a good idea. It's a good metaphor, good way of using metaphor. So individual readiness on one hand and it's balanced with organizational receptivity. Alright, if you have too much of each or of either, it's not gonna work. Right? Both have to be in quite good balance. And that's a good way of uh, depicting balance. Individual readiness and organizational receptivity. Good. Go ahead. And why is it important for the knowledge transfer from the expatriates is that the expatriates are going to have very critical knowledge. Like, they have the opportunity to know the local markets and their foreign subsidiaries. And they also know the culture and the market, how it is going to be in the foreign subsidiaries when they meet there. This also can be connected to what we saw in class today. That is, when we have expertise from diverse or varied expertise, when they combine to make the decision, it is going to be of higher quality. So that, uh, by that means, we know that the expatriates are going to give a very valuable input in decision making of the organization. 